Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 41. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, or that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be driving this Nissan GTR R35 Touring Car from the last episode. And we have bumped the uh, limiter, we've reduced the performance limiter down a bit. So we have now got 702 brake horsepower and we're going to be doing the Super GT500 Championship today. Uh, so let's just get straight into it. It's obviously the same car and it's the same tracks again. But we've got an extra lap on all of them. So let's do this. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks very good. Let's enter. We are literally one performance point away from being like uh, too high up. And we're starting off at the Deep Forest Raceway again. Uh, so by the looks of it, we've got quite a few NSXs. Uh, we've got a Nismo. We've got some Casserole Tom Supra. That Casserole Tom Supra is a classic car from all of the Gran Turismo games. And I hope that that car makes a return for Gran Turismo 7. Uh, and we've also got some GTRs here. We are the only one in an R35 uh, touring car though. Right, let's do this. Deep Valley Raceway Speedway track thing. Speed is key. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be able to hit, like, more than 160 miles an hour in a car. That feels so good. Very nice. I feel like I'm not going to take this for the GT3 championship as well. Because that's just pushing the amount of cars that we're using. I want to try and mix it up. So I think for the next one, I'm going to take... Hmm, what should we take? I feel like a Mercedes uh, SLS GT3 would be nice. Um... As well, I did have to restart the championship, so we've got a different group of cars, but there are they are still mostly the same. So we've got the same GTRs. Um, we've got the Tom Supra, but it's not the Casterol one. It's not the classic one. I think that is the Tom Supra in front, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it's not the uh, same classic one. But most of the cars are uh, Skylines and GTRs anyway, so... Uh, not Skylines, Fair Ladies. Nice. Oh, the AI's crashed into the wall there. This is why I hate this track, because it's not designed for fast cars. Um, which is why I have high hopes for GC7. Which is probably already out by now. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, the tracks look much wider. And much more based around race cars now. Um, rather than being strictly how they were before. Oh, there you go. The Casterol Supra is in this. It's just a little bit further ahead now, so it's going to be more of an enemy for us. Right, let's do this. Come on. This car went round this exact track 
last episode. And it went much, much slower. It was like a 1 minute 24 lap times. Actually, I think that's exaggerating. I think it was like 119 how fast is that? Very nice. And we've just got one NSX left to overtake. Right, watch out here. Very good. Right, coming onto the main straight for the final time where we'll get to drive fully. Let's see how far we can jump. Woo! Yes. Now that is style there. Nice. Right, slow down here. This is the final time we're going around that corner. Onto the main straight. Come on. And across the line. 1 minute 12.5. It's a very good lap time there, actually. 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Awesome. Right. Go past the replay screen. We'll take our money. Which is 44,000 credits. I think we're going to have a million by the end of this episode. Maybe. Who knows. Right. Race number two. Which is... Uh, if I remember right. I don't remember right. Fuji Speedway. <laughs> let's do this. Right. Let's do this. GTR. Time to shine. Oh my gosh, that NSX sounds really whiny there. I've just noticed the GTR's got a green tint to it. I never noticed that before. Kinda don't like it. I would like that to be changed immediately. Well, apparently the Castrol Super Super is not very good. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous! <laughs> I'm pushing too hard. Uh, that Supra was in um, started second place, and it managed to lose two positions before even we had overtaken it. What are you doing? Let's go. Nice.
We're obviously doing five laps of this track as well. Let's go. This car is quick. And we actually managed to hit the uh, maximum speed that this car can go as well. But then that is the longest straight out of all of the tracks. Um, in this entire championship. So if we hit maximum speed only just, then I feel like we won't have too much of a problem hitting maximum speed for the rest of them. So we are running the perfect gear ratio, pretty much. Awesome. Got a little bit wide there. Nice. There goes lap number two completed. Lap number three, here we come. Perfect. Oh, we've gone wide there. Not great. Get back on track. Get back on track. Very nice. Look at that. We're a little bit quicker, but we can always improve. There's always room for improvement. Oh, very wide there. Definitely a huge amount of improvement to be made at that section. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. I want the final lap to be the fastest lap. Always. Still a little bit slow, but that's not too much of a problem.
Nice. Right, this is the final time we're going round this lap. Round this track. That's what I meant to say. Look at that though. Every single lap has been very consistent. 133.7. Every single lap has been consistently quick, and I feel like this race should get an award for being one of my best races. Nice. That is awesome. Perfect. So good that my Windows PC agrees. Perfectly timed notification. And that final lap was a massive improvement. So we were consistent and our final lap was the best lap. I will take you out. That was a very good race. Very good race indeed. There we go, 45,000 credits, three stars. Time to move on to race number three, which I'm pretty sure is Suzuka. Right, here we go, let's do this. Off we go. This is gonna be a long race. It's gonna be one of the longest out of all of them because of the fact that it's Suzuka. It's like a two minute lap. So this is gonna be the longest race. Oh, I do like the yellow GTRs. And there's the Castrol Supra in fifth. He's managed to lose. Oh no, he's in fourth, we're in fifth. So yeah, he's lost two positions again from the start. Keep it under control, come on. The brake is the biggest safety measure of any car. If you are losing control, do not accelerate to try and reduce the amount of time that you were spinning for. Brake and then speed back up again. You'll lose a lot less time that way. That's what a lot of... Um, like inexperienced like Gran Turismo players will do they'll just be like oh yeah slam on the accelerator and full opposite lock and it'll stop spinning no it will just cause you to spin in the opposite direction again Cutting corners through there. There you go, see, two minute lap, roughly. Let's see if we can be consistent with this one. I have a feeling we won't because uh, this is a much more difficult track. I love the look of the NSX though. The NSX is such a nice car. Oh! Managed to clip the curbs through there. Perfect. Oh, 
awesome. Look at that. Even after clipping the curb and spinning out, well, not quite spinning out, but uh, going onto the gravel, we still managed to regain pretty much all of that lost time in about four corners. Okay, so we didn't quite make it past. But we are flying ahead compared to the rest of the pack right now. Gone off the track a little bit there as well. And a sneaky overtake past the NSX there. We've got a Honda here. Right, let's move back in. Perfect. Look how much time we actually took off of that last lap though. Seven seconds and we spun out nearly twice. Right, I have a feeling over the next two or three corners we'll have overtaken the NSX in front of us. Not even on the corner, just on the main straight. Even though it's not a very straight straight. Perfect. I've just realised as well, we've still got... Um, Goodwood Festival speed to do on this. We have Goodwood, the Lunar Exploration, which is the weirdest mission for a racing game to have, but I'll take it. And I think there's two more as well. There's the uh, Sierra Time Timed Rally, um, and what's the other one? Something else. I can't remember. Nice. We're doing very good for time here. Very good. I'm looking forward to the GC3 championship. Because then we can drive something different. And I feel like that AMG SLS is going to be a perfect car for that. What's going on? What's going on? Ah. That was so close though. If that was on a different part of the track, that would have lost us the race. 
but it was coming up to the braking zone. Woo! Right, let's try and do a fast lap now. To be fair, we only lost um, less than one, uh, less than two seconds. 1.8 seconds, roughly. Perfect. That is awesome. Let's see, can we get a 156? What are you doing? Get back on the track. We're not getting a sub 156. We went off the track there. To be fair, that was a very good corner there. That one wasn't. 54, 55, 56, 57. Yeah, it wasn't better. But our overall time was accidentally skipped. Brilliant. I think it was about one, uh, 9 minutes 58. So we'll say it was that. 46,000 credits. Very nice. Three stars. Very nice. Let's go to race number four. And this is going to be on the Twin Ring Mategi. Let's go. Right, it is now time for the Twin Ring Mategi. You better not be sneaking up in front of me. That's what I thought. Right, let's see how many can we get. Late breaking. We are now in seventh position. We were in 14th. That's seven cars. And I feel like we can get a load more on the next corner if the Nissan didn't get in the way. We're in third. That shit's crazy. That is the Castorol, Tom's Castorol Supra. This is why they always say the first lap is normally the judgmental lap. The better you can do in the first lap, the better your outcome in the final race. We are in first. We haven't even gotten halfway through Mategi yet. We probably passed the halfway mark about 10 seconds ago. We had just overtaken the NSX. That is crazy. We had a little bit of wheel spin at the rear end there as well. Trying to flick out out of control car coming through. Oh, that was close. This is good, though. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice. Oh, very close. And there we go, halfway through the track now again. And we are 1.6 seconds ahead. We are literally providing slipstream and until we lose that, which we may do soon, they're gonna be sticking to us. But I feel like we are about to lose that slipstream. Yep, there we go. Slipstream gone. They can't hog my slipstream for speed no more. Perfect. bit wide there okay did you not want to go around the corner this son very nice Perfect. So now very quick through there. Nice. Right, we have two more laps left to do of the Twin Ring Mategi. Come on, come on, come on, round the corners. That was an ever so slight improvement on the last lap. So hopefully this lap we can get another slight improvement. That would be great. Perfect. Eleven seconds ahead. I think this might be the best race, actually. Okay, went off the track a little bit there. Hopefully that's not going to affect us too much time-wise. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's ruined our time completely, that last bit. No way, did we just do faster?
maybe if we get a completely perfect lap for the last one, we could get even faster again. That would mean that every single lap was a faster lap. Yeah, this lap's not going to be faster. We'll take this one easy then. Maybe do a drift at some point, who knows. Look at that drift. And here we go onto the final section of the lap. Yeah, we didn't get faster, but we had fun on the last lap. Let's see what our final time was. 9 minutes, 1.9. That's a very good time. That is a really, really good time. Right, next up is going to be the Nürburgring, I think. Oh, what's going on with the track there? Right, let's take our 48,000. It's very good. And let's go to the Nürburgring now for the little track. Super GT 500. Nürburgring. Right, let's do this. Nürburgring. Let's see how many people can we overtake on the inside here. First section. Onto the brakes. Very, very late. And we're in first. I I feel like I've cheated the system there. I've literally instantly within one corner gotten into first place. I genuinely feel like I've cheated. If we don't get overtaken for the rest of the race, I will be one very much impressed. <laughs> that was crazy. though we are doing six laps of this race I feel like I can see rain though I am looking forward to the super series very much though Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. still can't believe we overtook the entire pack in one go. Honestly, that's absolutely crazy.
perfect. Come on, come on, come on. I think this race is going to take about eight and a half minutes. Perfect. the breaking zone. Right, we are over halfway through the race now. Come on. Very nice. And slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't overshoot this. Perfect. Come on, come on. Perfect. Come on. Nice. Oh, very close. That was the fastest lap yet. Corner was very overshot there. Nice. Come on, come on, round the corner. Come through. Oh. Didn't go on the brakes for long enough for that corner. And 
slam onto the brakes here. Oh, we didn't quite beat our time. But that was a very good race there. Six laps of the Nürburgring. Eight minutes and 31 seconds. Perfect. Let's see how much money we got. I think we also got a... Um, we get a free car now as well for getting half of the stars. We'll have a look in a minute and see. 50,000 credits. Three stars. And if we press exit now, we should get our gold trophy. Ta-da! First place. Nice. We should also get 60,000. We're now at 1 million credits. Do we get a trophy for that as well? Do we get a PlayStation trophy? I hope so. Bidding. No, nothing. Okay. Let's see what card we got for half the stars. Oh, nice. We got a NASCAR, so I don't have to buy one of them now. Sick. That is epic. I will take that. What does it sound like? Woo! That's a good noise. That's a good noise. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.